Let us see the summary of the story The Tale of Custard the Dragon written by Ogden Nash. Belinda lived in a little white house. She lived with a little black kitten called Ink, a grey mouse called Blink, a brave yellow dog called Mustard and a cowardly pet dragon called Custard. She also had a little red wagon. Now Custard had sharp teeth. Spikes grew out of his back. His skin was covered with scales and he had long knife like toes. He could also breathe fire but all he wanted was a safe cage for himself. Belinda, Ink, Blink and Mustard all considered themselves very brave. So when Custard, a fierce looking dragon, cried for a cage, they did not spare him. Belinda tickled him. Ink Blink and Master rudely called him names. They all laughed at Custard, the cowardly dragon. Belinda laughed so hard it shook the house. Blink giggled. Ink and Master rudely called Custard old. But Custard only cried for a cage. Suddenly they heard a sound. Belinda cried out. There was a pirate climbing in the window. The pirate looked mean. He had two pistols in his hand. Between his teeth he held a sharp knife. He also had a black beard and a wooden leg. It was clear he was there to do them harm. Belinda cried for help. Mustard fled. Ink climbed down the house and Blink ran into a mouse hole. But Custard sprang up to confront the pirate. The pirate stopped at the sight of the dragon. He took a sip from his bottle and fired two bullets at Custard. But the bullets did not harm Custard. He simply ate the pirate. Now Belinda hugged him. Mustard licked him in affection. Ink and Blink danced around Custard. No one cried for the pirate. But then Mustard said he could have been twice as brave if he hadn't been surprised. Ink and Blink also said they could have been thrice as brave. Custard agreed and said that everyone was braver than him. Belinda still lives in her little White House with Ink, Blink, Mustard and Custard. She, Ink, Blink and Mustard still consider themselves brave. And Custard still cries for a nice safe cage. Literary Elements Ballad The poem is in the form of a ballad. A long poem usually set to music. The poet Nash uses this form to narrate the tale of Custard the Dragon and how he defeats a pirate. Simile Simile is a poetic device used by the poet to draw a clear comparison between two or more things or people with the help of words like like and as. The phrases sharp as mustard, mouth like a fireplace, as brave as a barrel full of beers, brave as a tiger in a cage, snorting like an engine, and clashed his tail like iron in a dungeon, pirate like a robin, are examples of simile in the poem. Repetition. The poet uses repetition at various points in the poem to create a rhythmical effect in the poem. He also uses it to build humor in the poem. For example, the word little has been repeated multiple times in the first two stanzas. Onomatopoeia. The word rake is an example of onomatopoeia in the poem. It mimics the sound of a rat's giggle. Similarly, miauch for cat sound. The words clatter, clank and jangling are examples of onomatopoeia in the poem. Poetic license. When a poet disregards the rules of language, he uses poetic license in his works. The words realio, trulio and yik are made up words that Nash uses to impart humor to the poem. Through this, he practices poetic license. Also, he has changed window to winda to maintain the rhyme scheme of the poem. 
Next literary element is alliteration. Alliteration is the repetitions of the same sound used in the beginning of the closely placed words. The line Belinda is as brave as a barrel full of beers is an example of alliteration. Rhyme scheme of the poem. The rhyme scheme of the poem is A A B B. However, for stanza 13, the rhyme scheme is A A B B C C. For example, Belinda lived in a little white house with a little black kitten and a little grey mouse, A A, and a little yellow dog and a little red wagon, and really a truly a little pet dragon, B B. Next, but presently up spoke little dog mustard. I had been twice as brave if I had been flustered. The rhyme scheme of first two lines A A, next two lines B B, and last two lines C C. So the rhyme scheme is A A B B C C.